In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and deploy a new stack using the AWS CDK. If you don't know what the CDK is, then watch my first video up here. This is part of a series I'm doing on the AWS CDK, and it's all right here on YouTube. So like and subscribe. The AWS CDK is available in a bunch of different programming languages. The CDK itself is a framework that lets you create AWS resources in code. Here's a diagram that shows it at a very high level. You define constructs in your code. Those constructs can have other constructs, and all in all, they build up a complete system. Then the CDK, which is a command line application that you run from your terminal, that runs all your code and builds up a cloud formation template, which it then uploads to your AWS account and subsequently creates all of your resources. The AWS CDK has been released for all of these programming languages on the screen here, but in this video, I'm going to focus on TypeScript. And why have I chosen TypeScript? Well, if you create your infrastructure in TypeScript using the CDK, and then you write your backend Lambda functions in TypeScript, then you can also build your UI in TypeScript. So you basically have a complete web stack, front end, back end, and infrastructure as code, all in the same programming language. Now, you might hate that idea, but I think that's great because it makes it really easy for me to teach full stack development here on this channel. So here goes. The first thing you need to do is open up a terminal and install the AWS CDK by running npm install um, dash g AWS CDK. The dash g flag there is going to make it globally installed so you'll be able to run CDK commands from anywhere on your machine. So we'll just wait for that to install. Once that's installed, we then need to be able to connect this to our AWS account. Now, there's a really good guide on the AWS website about how to set up credentials for your AWS account and be able to access it from your terminal. So I'm not going to cover all of this in this tutorial because it's dependent on your operating system and how you want to do the authentication. So I'll just link this guide down in the description. If you want to pause the video, go through that guide and then make sure that you've set that up so that you can connect to your AWS account from the terminal. And you can test your AWS credentials by running this command, AWS S TS and then get caller identity. This will show you the AWS account ID and the user ID that you'll be using to connect through the terminal session. So make sure that you get these values here, which I've grayed out. Great, so we've got the AWS CDK installed. There's one extra thing that we need. The AWS CDK needs some resources itself that are deployed to your AWS account. So it needs an S3 bucket in your account to say, upload some templates and code and things, and it needs some permissions set up in IIM. So in order to use the CDK, you need to create those resources in the account that you're going to be deploying to. And it's actually the account and region that you need this set up in. So you do this by running this command called CDK bootstrap. I'm not actually going to run that because I've already done it, and I'll show you what it creates. If you go into CloudFormation in the AWS console, you can see it creates this stack called CDK Toolkit. And that stack has got um, some IAM roles, and it's got some other things like an S3 bucket in here. Now, don't worry, there's not anything in here that's going to incur any ongoing costs for you other than perhaps the S3 bucket. Um, but it doesn't run any EC2 instances or anything like that that you need to worry about stopping. So this shouldn't incur you any costs by having this on here. And this is just a one-step setup. So once you bootstrap the AWS CDK by running that bootstrap command and creating this stack, then you'll be able to use the same CDK stack for all applications that you deploy in the future to this AWS account and region. The next step then is to create a new CDK application. So create a new directory. I'm going to use mukta test new CDK app. Um, and then I'm going to run this command, CDK init app, and then dash dash language, and then the language you're going to use. So I'm going to use TypeScript. I'll type TypeScript in there. And what that's going to do is it's going to create all of the files and all of the project files necessary to bootstrap a basic CDK application. And we'll explore what that creates in a second, and then we'll deploy it to our AWS account. So once you've got that set up, open up an instance of your IDE. I'm going to be using VS Code and have a look at what's being created in here for you. So as you can see, we have this bin directory, and that's going to be the entry point for our application. So when we run the AWS CDK synth and deploy commands, this is the piece of code that it's going to drop into first. Um, and we can also, we've also got this lib directory here, and that's the way you're going to create all of your constructs and your CloudFormation stacks and everything like that. So you can see it's created a stack.ts for us. Remember, the AWS CDK applications are all about modularity. So you're really encouraged to encapsulate different related parts of your backend architecture into abstractions and then bundle those up using constructs and stacks. You can see here we've got this one stack, and that's being referenced in our 
entry point here, which is bin. Also, take a look at this cdk.json file. This is the configuration file for the CDK application in this directory. And it contains a config that you need to be able to build your CloudFormation stack from your code. So we can actually go back over to the terminal now and run this command cdk synth. What that will do is it will get, jump into our code and it will execute our TypeScript code and build us the CloudFormation template. And then if I jump back into my folder, you can see I've now got this cdk.out directory and that's actually got our CloudFormation template in it. So this is a CloudFormation template that you might have created for scratch, but this one has been created from our CDK application. There's also a bunch of other stuff in here, like a manifest um, and an assets file. But essentially, this folder here, this CDK out, is enough to upload to CloudFormation to create our new application, test new stack, that references our new CDK app stack here. So if we wanted to add some resources into this, you can see there's one that's already been commented out for us. So if we wanted to add an SQS queue, we would uncomment this, and this is just a basic construct that we need to import at the top here from the CDK lib. And then if we run our CDK synth command again, that will rebuild our CloudFormation stack, but this time it will have a SQS queue as part of that stack. So lastly, we're going to actually deploy this to our AWS account. So we're going to run this command CDK deploy. Um, and that command will do that synth step from before, and then it will actually upload that CloudFormation template to AWS, and it will deploy and create all of those services that you defined in your account. So this will create our SQS queue that we defined just now, the one that we uncommented. So you can see here, it's creating a new stack called test new CDK app stack. If I jump over to the console now and look for here, so you can see, if I go to my CloudFormation instance, I've got this new stack here, test new CDK app stack. That's what's been created for me from the command line over here. So it tells you the stack on of what we've created in my account. And if we delve into this stack here, you can see that it's created a queue um, and that's an SQS queue. So that's what we defined in our um, application here. So as you can see, we've created a new SQS queue and that's corresponding to this SQS queue here. Um, and we should be able to find this in SQS itself. So if I go to SQS in the console, and we should see our test new SQS queue, which is just here. So this is the one that's been created for us. Now I'm gonna show you how you can make changes to this CloudFormation stack directly in the code. So if we go back in and just, just delete out that SQS queue again, comment that back out again, and then redeploy. We're not gonna do synth again because the synth step is part of the CDK deploy step. So we're gonna do this and it's gonna realize that we've removed our SQS queue and that's gonna actually delete it from our AWS account. So as this builds, you'll see the CloudFormation changes that it's gonna deploy. So if we jump over to the stack in CloudFormation now, and I can go to this events tab, you can see delete in progress. So when we made that deployment, it went and deleted that AWS app queue. And so if I go back into SQS now in here, we will see that that queue that we created has now gone. There we go, no more queues in there. Cool. So if I make changes to those resources in my code, then I just run CDK deploy each time and it will update them in my AWS account. So that's it. So now you're up and running with the AWS CDK. You can go about creating as many backend resources as you like directly from TypeScript. One last note though, if you're just messing around and learning with this for learning purposes, which I absolutely encourage you to do, then you should know that you can also run this command CDK destroy and that will delete your CloudFormation stack and all associated resources. So you don't leave stuff deployed in AWS that you didn't want in there. Are you sure you want to delete a stack? Yes, we do. Always worth checking this name here is the actual stack that we want to be deleting. Cool. Perfect, so I hope you found this useful and check back on my channel over the next few weeks because I'll be posting tutorials on how to build some actual common pieces of infrastructure like a serverless API with AWS Lambda um, and also I'll show you how to make a static website with S3 and CloudFront in front of it. But that's all for today though. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments section below. Check out the playlist for this whole series and have fun using the AWS CDK.